Following the release of the Galaxy S23 lineup in February, including the debut of the mid-range Galaxy A54, Samsung's next objective is to introduce new iterations of its foldable phones in the latter half of this year. The rumored Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Galaxy Z Flip 5 are expected to arrive well ahead of the launch of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Typically, Galaxy S models are unveiled in the first quarter of the year, with a preference for a February announcement to introduce their latest flagship offerings. With this in mind, it is reasonable to expect the Galaxy S24 Ultra to make its debut alongside the rest of the S24 lineup in February 2024. While definitive rumors concerning the exact launch date are yet to surface, they are expected to become available in the upcoming months, at this time, it is premature to speculate on the pricing of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. However, the latest rumors suggest a launch date of May 24, 2023. Ideally, we hope that Samsung maintains the pricing or even finds ways to reduce the cost of the phone from the Galaxy S23 Ultra's starting price of $1,199. Nevertheless, considering the premium features packed into that model and the increasing costs of smartphone components, a price reduction may be unlikely. Maintaining the same $1,199 starting price would be satisfactory, especially given the rumored price increases that were circulating before the release of the Galaxy S23 earlier this year. The Galaxy S24 is expected to introduce a significant update to the One UI interface, likely One UI 6, based on the upcoming Android 14 operating system. This major update is expected to bring significant changes and improvements to the user experience. Samsung has consistently worked to improve One UI with each release, introducing new features and enhancements. One UI 6 and Android 14 are expected to deliver performance improvements to the Galaxy S24. Users can expect faster app launch times, smoother animations, and better battery life. Samsung's commitment to providing the best experience for its users suggests that the Galaxy S24 will come with exciting new features and enhancements to both the One UI interface and the Android operating system. While the exact details of these features remain unknown, Samsung has a reputation for innovation and in creating user-centric designs, suggesting that users are in for a treat with the release of the Galaxy S24. It is a reasonable assertion to state that Qualcomm's top silicon by this time next year will likely be integrated into the Galaxy S24 Ultra. In the past, Samsung has incorporated their own Exynos chips alongside Qualcomm chipsets, however, the S23 lineup was entirely powered by Qualcomm. It is speculated that Samsung will continue to adopt this all-Qualcomm approach for the S24 devices, potentially utilizing the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, if Qualcomm follows its usual naming convention. Details regarding this silicon are anticipated towards the end of the year when Qualcomm typically unveils its latest high-end chipset. It has been rumored that Apple's forthcoming S17 Bionic chip will be the only one built on a 3 nanometers process this year. Placing the forthcoming Qualcomm silicon at a potential disadvantage in terms of speed and power efficiency. There are also rumors regarding the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 supporting UFS 4.1 storage, however, as this storage spec has not yet been announced, we cannot confirm this claim, in addition, there are reports of a possible RAM upgrade for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Lika Rebengas has suggested that the phone may come equipped with up to 16GB of RAM, a considerable upgrade from the 8GB per 12GB options available on the S23 Ultra. Furthermore, there are leaks suggesting that the Galaxy S24 Ultra could surpass the graphics performance of the iPhone 15 Pro, with a GPU inside the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip that is potentially 50% faster. Another speculated Galaxy S23 feature that did not come to fruition this year was satellite connectivity. It is anticipated that this may change with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, potentially matching an iPhone 14 feature that permits users to send emergency messages even without cellular connectivity. It is presently unclear if this feature would be exclusive to the Ultra model or if Samsung would follow Apple's lead and make it a capability for all of its flagship models. Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S24 Ultra is not expected to have a radical design change, as the company seems to favor the look of a vertical row of camera lenses on the back of its phones. This design is expected to continue for the S24 Ultra, despite some concept designs suggesting otherwise. Additionally, the S24 Ultra is expected to feature a 6.8-inch panel, 
similar to its predecessor models, which is one of the largest screens available on a non-folding phone, however, the S24 Ultra could see a change in its refresh rate. While previous Ultra models have had a 120Hz refresh rate, the S24 Ultra may increase this to 144Hz. Rumors suggest that Samsung is considering this change, which would make the S24 Ultra one of the few non-gaming phones with such a high refresh rate. Samsung has already positioned the Ultra as a device for gamers, so this change could align with the company's strategy. Overall, while the S24 Ultra is not expected to have major design changes, it may offer improvements in terms of its refresh rate, which could enhance its performance and appeal to gamers. Samsung has recently launched its latest flagship smartphone, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is touted as having the best camera in the market to date. The phone boasts for rear-facing cameras, all with autofocus capabilities and capable of recording 4K 60 frames per second videos. Among these, two are telephoto cameras that offer unparalleled zoom reach, which sets it apart from its competitors. However, recent rumors suggest that the upcoming Galaxy S24 Ultra may have a reduced number of cameras despite still having a hefty price tag, sources indicate that the Galaxy S24 Ultra may come with only three rear-facing cameras, with Samsung opting to eliminate one of its telephoto cameras and use a single zoom camera instead. This move may be due to the company's adoption of a continuous periscope zoom lens that can zoom from 3x to 10x, similar to LG's telephoto camera module showcase last year. Such a lens would allow a single telephoto camera to perform the functions of both zoom cameras found in the Galaxy S23 Ultra, offering superior image quality with intermediate zoom ranges that are currently not feasible with the present camera setup. Alternatively, Samsung may be relying on its 200MP primary camera to offer 3x digital zoom, which can be just as effective as 3x optical zoom seen in the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Reducing the number of cameras on the rear of the Galaxy S24 Ultra could lead to a cleaner design and a reduction in clutter, while still offering top-of-the-line photography capabilities. Regardless of the reason for the reduction in the number of cameras, the upcoming Galaxy S24 Ultra is sure to be a powerful and high-end smartphone. Insiders have revealed that the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, which is expected to be released earlier than the Galaxy S23, will likely come equipped with a new telephoto zoom lens. The phone is rumored to feature a 150x zoom camera, with a telephoto camera that has Gen 4 optics and an aperture ranging from f2.5 to f.9. This news comes after reports of Samsung introducing a new telephoto sensor in the Galaxy S24 Ultra, while the main camera may remain the same or undergo minor adjustments, it should be noted that the current Galaxy S22 offers 100x space zoom, and if the Galaxy S24 Ultra does indeed launch with these rumored specs, it will likely cost 50% more than the current model. Pricing of the Samsung S24 Ultra is $1,200. Although Samsung has confirmed that it will unveil the Galaxy S23 series at its unpacked event on February 1, 2024, which will also be the first in-person gathering in the previous three years, pre-orders for the flagship smartphone have already begun, with customers who have booked a device from Samsung receiving early access and exclusive discounts when buying a new Galaxy S series smartphone. Overall, it seems that Samsung is pushing the boundaries of smartphone camera technology with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, offering a new and improved telephoto zoom lens for users to capture stunning photos and videos. Currently, there is a lack of concrete information regarding the features of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. However, this leaves ample opportunity for speculation and anticipation for potential improvements. While the Galaxy S23 Ultra is an impressive device, there are areas where Samsung could enhance the user experience. US Pen capabilities, one area where we hope to see improvement is with the S Pen capabilities. The S21 Ultra introduced S Pen support, and the S22 Ultra added storage for the stylus. However, the S23 Ultra did not feature any noteworthy improvements to the S Pen. We anticipate that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will provide enhanced S Pen capabilities, potentially including new S Pen Air actions or the ability to remotely control additional functions on the device. Faster charging, another area where Samsung could make enhancements is with charging speed. While the S23 Ultra offered 45W charging, other Android phones, such as the OnePlus 11, have surpassed this with faster charging capabilities. As a premium device bearing the Ultra name, we hope to see faster charging speeds implemented in the Galaxy S24 Ultra, no price change, 
Furthermore, we hope that any changes introduced in the Galaxy S24 Ultra are not accompanied by an increase in price. Although the Ultra models boast many premium features, the current price of $1,199 for the Galaxy S23 Ultra may be too steep for many consumers. Samsung should keep in mind that even the best smartphones must remain accessible to most shoppers. In summary, we eagerly anticipate the Galaxy S24 Ultra's release and hope to see enhancements to the S Pen capabilities, faster charging speeds, and no increase in price.